man does everything right dies good to know good to know For some reason, Twitch still counts as that's the same stream, so you know what, I'm gonna roll with it. Dude, I hate that the fucking power cable is, like, exposed. So what's the meme there, huh? I, uh, I did everything right, but it didn't count. There's ghost matter right there too, so I can't go through that path. I have to go left. I don't know. I feel like I wasn't meant to die there, but I did. Twelve minutes was right, by the way. Twelve minutes ish. the ash twin left provided I can do this yep so wait is it like actually scripted to not let you die once once you get into the sun or what or do I actually have to do that like inhumanly fast do you have no idea <laughs> Fuck me. I'm gonna I'm gonna have my camera with me so I can see if that path has ghost matter. Maybe it's just trolling me. loop just catch it on the way see now is a good moment to use autopilot I feel because we're both heading the same direction where are you actually did I mark it I did used it to start I'm not sure what you're talking about oh autopilot yeah it's pretty good like to start I can agree with that yeah like right now it's gonna do its best to fucking crash me because it doesn't take into account that it's moving forward good enough every time so this is the crack right it's gonna open up here somewhere you just have to stay on the ship until uh we're past giant steep. 
I can see it. Is it where? Can you see it? Like I'm gonna show you everything here. Alright, nada. It seems perfectly normal. You can see there's nothing out of the ordinary. Sorry about these these skits of flying. Yeah, you can't see shit, can you? Bug game? Maybe it's my quality settings actually. You think my quality settings are fucking with the game? It's on high. It's, it's not even a medium, it's on high. Maybe you have to be on very high for it to see. Yeah, we can just consider this entire thing the crack. <sighs> so now we wait. And uh, I have no clue I'm gonna survive. And once I find whatever I, it is I want to find here, then I'm good. Then and only then. Why am I spinning? God, I wish there was a way to fast forward. But no, you need to experience it all. Just part of the experience is also doing boring shit. That's just a, that's just how science works, I guess. It's boring shit too. It kinda feels like we're in a collection course with Dark Bramble. And we're are we barely gonna make it? Look at this. I guess we're slow enough that we're gonna yeah, barely pass. See a nerd. Giant sleep is the only hard one. Once we're past this, we have another shot. Did I escape orbit already? I don't know. Okay, I did. Gotta get ready. Not sure if I should have this or the signal scoper out. We'll, we'll go with this. Alright, 
what's happening. Go, 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 go. to go into the cave or something. Oh. Huh? Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> I was a little worried there. Why is it all black? Oh, you saw that detail? That's pretty cool. You blink and the quantum moon is gone. It has ghost matter at the end. Yeah. I have to go into the cave. I, it took a little longer than expected because there was a... Uh, what's the name? I went in the wrong way. I look in the wrong way. We should wait for more then. Like 14 I think it's good. I don't want to clutch it, but I also want to be somewhat close. We'll wait for 14. Do I have to like get inside to where the ghost matter is or just be in that little hole? Like, do I have to go past the hole, or do I have to... Just stay in the hole. Does the, does the hole count and shit? Just multiple paths? Let's see. Maybe I'm taking the one that's like, not right. Yeah, I saw a little opening, but I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. So I just like want to go through the entire thing? Is that what you're telling me? In like a matter of three or four seconds with the Sky Somaria? Give me a little time to adjust and shit. What do you think about this part, Kevin? I think it's a little bullshit.
Like, this is straight out of a fucking book. This works great in console. But god, is this execution horrible? Give this one more shot ish. Maybe two. But I need to take a break after this one. Like a five minute break. This is stuff that, in paper, like, it could make for a really good moment, like, say, timed event for the solar station. What else is timed in this game? The rock at the bottom of Ember Twin. But I don't know, I feel like waiting for 10 bajillion mo fucking minutes, so you can be properly adjusted. Not very fun. Yeah, of course. Makes sense. Like, it, it would be obvious that you'd have these kind of puzzles in the game. I don't think they're very fun. Well design, maybe. Not very fun. I don't know, I feel like they could have done a scripted meme here. Like they done in some areas. Just to make sure you don't die. Because getting in the thing is annoying enough. to crack. Yo, where's the crack? Okay. Yeah, maybe if it... Maybe... Do you think that maybe I don't have to do this while the sun is burning? Do you think it like melts and reopens each time? It goes by the sun. Because if that's the case, then what I'm doing is really dumb. Yeah. What do you mean I wait until Supernova? By the time it goes Nova, this thing is gone.
Same shit. Uh, so I can do it on like the first time it goes through the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I just figured it had to be really close to the sun. Like really close. Yeah, we can catch it. Me criticizing bad design while making the wrong place. Right. Game, game redeem. I didn't say anything. Where's the fucking thing? Oh. Fuck, I'm not gonna catch it. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a zero way I can get it. I have to be a fucking magician to do this. Well, I'm on a collision course, so... In fact, I should start slowing down. Right about now. Might. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Or maybe I can. I need to like, match the thing. Problem is, you have to be behind, right, to like, properly match velocity. Oh, maybe I can make it. I have to hurry the fuck up. Oh, please. Nice. I think that's gonna take about the same time. About the same time anyways. Oh shit, that's real soon. Dude, I thought there was a path to the left. <laughs> I also thought I had to hug the thing. Like a path in this cave, no, not like... Alright, I'll show you what I meant. Yeah, 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 I'll show you what I meant. Yeah, I thought it was in, in the cave with the ghost matter. Like there was a branch to the left. Dude, I want to be done with this thing as well. Um, Walt. Uh, 
put the sun away, what the? Dude. Oh. I think this time I'm legitimately not gonna make it. I overshot it by a mile. Never mind, I'm good. I keep overestimating it. Finally. Oh, patience. Uh, with no hope, I will not die. Receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to comet center. I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but the voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if we continue any deeper. Keep the shell warm for us, Clary. Return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand. Be cautious, both of you. Both of those paths are doomed. This one is also doomed. <laughs> Seems like we found our uh, lucky winner.
Am I going up? Maybe. Shit, is this for real? <laughs> right then left. I think I can survive that. Do I have the... Do I have enough fuel to make that? Like there, there's no ghost matter on the, on the way. It's just a matter of surviving the fall. It's 70 meters. There's not much gravity though. Oh. I see. Stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. The source is what's within the stone. I'm just talking about exotic matter. It's muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing at least. Ooh. I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. If I can tell, direct contact with it will almost certainly be fatal. Not that's protecting us from what's inside. Or still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. More than profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. I got this density scan. I think it's done. Oh wait. There's more. This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagine. If the stone were to rupture, the lethal matter would then would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost into s The interloper is killing the star system? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Now they can construct shelter somehow. Now poke. Oh, the supernova is spreading ghost matter.
So there is a way to avoid the sun going... I guess? No? They say the sun has reached the end of its natural lifetime, but what this is doing, it's spreading ghost matter all over the galaxy. Or the universe. I guess I'm done here, right? I can just rest it off? Can you confirm this, Kevin? So I can go do something else? Yeah? Okay. We'll be meditating off. Okay, so... We need to find a way to... Deviate... Our friend here. So all this time I've been looking for ghost matter. <laughs> You've been teasing me, yeah? I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Yeah, yeah we are. Traced these strange energy readings to a spherical stone causing filled with some sort of exotic matter. It determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within it would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost in instantaneously. One of the nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the nomai. It didn't matter though, they didn't make it very far. I don't know how they died there. I guess they touched it or something. <sighs> I mean, I, I can do it right now. But uh, I need to take a five minute break. Bathroom break. So I don't know, I'll put some video game music or something on. Be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be right back.
we're doing the last stretch. Although I have no clue what I'm gonna do. I need to read up on the Sunless City real quick, or the High Velocity Lab rather. The high velocity lab, high energy lab. Yes. So, what's the meme then? The energy is undetectable. We know how it looks like, but that doesn't really help. I imagine the power source is near the warp core. That's why I'm uh, thinking about it. In the end though, we didn't really find out what they used to power the sting, right? Fucking pillar. Pulling me in so hard. Slight misalignment. You don't think that has to do with anything, right? Like warping when the quantum moon is nearby? Do you think that produces a different effect? No, right? Because if the sun doesn't block it, I doubt the quantum moon would have to do anything to it. Look, there's a warp station that is not working. And it's the only one I haven't used. So I'm guessing we start from there. Where would, have, where would it have taken me? It's the one for the Twin Towers as well. Which is very sussy. Sussy. Sussy gamer. Hmm. It just happens to be the one that's broken. It says if the tower misaligns, then the warp won't happen. But there's like a generous 5 degree window. Now, how could I use this 5 degree window? Every memory recorded to an Omega Statue transport transmitted to a corresponding storage unit with an Ash Twin. The central chamber inside the Ash Twin is physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Now my plan construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative interval in Ash Twin. That's all I have. Somehow it feels as if Something should be here. I have everything but that. I 
I put it inside the sand stream and it doesn't do anything. So that's not the answer. Do you think I could use the gravity cannon to shoot the probe into the broken tower? Maybe realign it? <laughs> Fucking crack theories. So we're double doomed to die then, because this thing is reaching its natural end of the life, right? We just happen to be accelerating it by using the... Or like, super killing us by uh, using the interloper. Or rather, the interloper using us. We see that this thing gets covered in something. As soon as the blast hits. Why? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> these clues don't really lead up to nowhere. Maybe this. Warp tower's alignment point, it's not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligned with the center of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a single shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers are being constructed at different locations. Now my name Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. A diagram depic uh, dep depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact, they only need to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. This results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. Maybe I just warp back and forth like a idiot. An idiot. From Ember from like a Ember Twin to Ash Twin, from Ember Twin to Ash Twin. Like that. Because uh, I'm out of ideas.
They don't even like. I don't, I have I haven't the slightest clue where it could be because it's physically sealed off. This is the sun warp. Yeah. Do you think it'll... What, what do you think, Jürgen? Does it make sense once you know? I think that's like... No. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Because we're gonna get it eventually, right? What do you think? It's very big. Hmm. That's not promising, is it? We have the broken one right there, and somehow Nomai died there. And we have this one that warps you to Ember. Or maybe I have to like go into the Ember one, wait a few seconds, come back, enter again, and then I'm good. I don't know. Maybe I should read the log. It's here. Which I've already read, mind you, but... Maybe it'll have some uh, useful information. Plot twist, it will probably not. What do you think that led to? Because I sure as shit don't know. I'm doing good. What's that supposed to mean? What the fuck did you get here? I'm not sure what you mean, Kevin.
What if? No. But what if? Should I save my ship? Probably save my ship, right? No. Okay. What? Maybe I should have, because I don't have oxygen. I think... I think I see it. If this is the solution, this is really dumb. Well, you see that the fucking warp window is huge, right? What if I wait for like the last possible moment to warp? Right? Okay. The only problem is I don't really know what the last minute is, but... And I'm also running out of oxygen. So, <laughs> I kinda need my shed. Maybe, hopefully my ship will be there, waiting for me. Uh... Where's Chert? Oh, it's coming. Okay, good. Pray, pray for the oxygen. Where's the ship? Dude, the ship is all the way over there. Maybe you have to wait until it goes a certain color. I'm not gonna make it anyway, so might as well wait. It's five degrees, right? So five seconds. Four. Five. You can watch the sand. Right, whatever. I'll meditate, bitch. Okay. I'm gonna wait a little for the sand to set in. Maybe three minutes.
Well, this will be the last loop, regardless of the result, unfortunately. Because I need to take a break. So hopefully it'll be a successful one. into the sun. Good. Good boy, autopilot. Actually did something right. I figured the little pulses that go into the white or black hole does indicate you how many degrees have passed, but I guess not. Because you just have to look up and uh, calculate yourself. Five degrees, they say, right? From core to core. But they say it functions like a single astral body, which is weird. What exactly am I waiting for then? Receiver mostly located on or in close or without around the relevant nest of body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact, they will need to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center.
for this tower. Okay. The one where I worked. So just, just watch, watch the sand. No, I don't warp. Or do I warp and then watch? Watch the sand. outside and watch it. Oh, my, my bad. Seems like my ship is good though. Much for my ship being good. Is this angle okay? I think so. Well, I'm, I'm, I still don't know what I'm looking for. But we'll see. Nah. It's not good. Let's hop interloper. Go on the door. Right here. Right here. Right, we're watching.
Oh, did I miss it? Dude. <laughs> This guy get fucked. Boom. Oh right, because I've never tried warping when the sand pillar was here. That makes sense. That, that was the only window I didn't try for this. And why I thought it was non-functional. Yo, there better be some oxygen at the end of this, or I'm gonna die. Well, I kind of tried this. But I also didn't, because I was waiting right there. So what do you have to wait for? For like the thing to pass and then you go? Oh, five degree window. Yeah, but like five degree window. So it doesn't have to be like exactly here. Because uh, the sand is gonna hit this. As soon as the sand is gone from there, I go. Go. Fuck, it's before? <laughs> well, I'm out of oxygen. Try again. Yeah, try again. Well, there's, oh wait, there, there is an oxygen source here. Yeah, but like, if it's before... It can't be before, can it? it? Has to be during or something. During and I try to push down with the jetpack. Wait for cinco minutos. <sighs> Can I make it? Isn't the sand gonna suck me up to the window? I thought the five degree window was gonna be a lot more generous than, than that. Maybe I just wait in the little cozy thing. I think that works as well, because it's closer, right? Because I don't have to avoid the pineapple.
Okay. Dude, what a dog shit place to be. Why is it behind the sun? Fuck. I was gonna try and make it. Oh wait, I can still make it. There was oxygen here. So if I did make it, I would have made it. Pro- oh, the probe. Thank you, Kevin. 14 minutes until I'm the cycle transmission. There's a lot of text. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin here. Oh, Ash Twin. Here in the space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I still can hardly believe Ramis' hypothesis was true. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants while we, we met while digging. We need to keep our eyes on how significantly we'll have altered the environment here. Hope just sent the warp core from the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ashton can be connected with Giant Sleep. Cassava is working with Avans to craft the Orbital Pro Cannon. With Flox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the Corp of Warp Tower was last to be forged. The course could have been forged faster if Castle had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected to Ash Twin now. And also that I'm no longer needs for mediating your disagreements. <laughs> Our friends on Giant Steep tested the Yorbolo Pro Cannon today. Mao tells me Cannon is doing well. Evans advocates for more land power. Put them coax the maximum power from a device. I have scan. Put them can go to the device and explode in. That too is likely happens. Yarrow Chad, it's like the lead investigator. Flocks and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashton project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate along to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the sun station. And the last is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ashton project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task, in more ways than one. Who 
We're nearly ready to activate the Ashton project. Here's what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashton project will send the order from the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. This cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle as well. These wars are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. The supernova is still our only viable option. This is easier expressed in the complex. We can wait for the sun to explode in its natural timeline. You prefer idea? We'll need to find some way to halt our aging project progress. Maybe we can still find a way to create a supernova in the end. Let's hope. We're halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. The command has newly arrived in the solar system. We're anxious to explore it. Artificial gravity control. Uh, I don't think I want to stop that. I thought I was going to read something there, my bad. We're about to access the core while the Ashton project is active. Moving the core will disable the Ashton project. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're going to do this tomorrow, alright? We do this tomorrow with time. Or do you want to finish it right now? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we can do it right now. But I think you're you're sleepy and you're you've earned your you've earned your good sleep, my friend. We can do this tomorrow with patience. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna update my logs and I'm gonna finish the game tomorrow. Thank you for the help, very much appreciated. Cause uh, fuck that. <laughs> Good night. Let's see what my logs say now. Promising. Alright.